Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new favorites video. Now this is my summer favorites because spring was kind of combined into winter. I'm just gonna put it like that because to be honest, spring I didn't really spend a lot and I even said I didn't spend a lot in that video and now I feel like I've spent a good bit, but it's mostly closed. We're gonna dive in first to what I've been buying the past four months and what I've been loving. As you can see, we're all spooky up in here because it is fall season, fastly approaching. So I'm gonna start off with this. It's a CK sweater. You can kind of see it. You know, I'm going to insert a clip of me wearing it for you guys just so you can see it rather than me making a song and dance about it on here. But it's a really nice sweater, a really nice fit. It's oversized, so I've got a smaller size than usual. So it is, you can see here, it's very baggy. So starting off the video, we are going to be looking at some skincare essentials that I have been really liking. The first one I could not live without this summer. I had to get a new one. It is the Kiehl's Cactus Flower and Tibetan Ginseng Hydrating Mist. This is really great for when it's hot out and you just wanna refresh your skin a little bit. This keeps you cool, calm and collected, let me tell you, and it's very lovely scented. You're gonna feel a little bit more of a chill vibe. Your skin is gonna thank you, and that's really good to have. Another heat essential is deodorant. Only usually use this kind of deodorant when it is this hot out because I sweat a lot, not gonna lie. So I use the Old Spice Fiji deodorant. Now this is great because it doesn't have any aluminium in it in the ingredients. It's got, it's got like a small little handful more than others and it's got more good things in it than bad. No one's good when water is one of the top things in there. So this is great because when you wear a white t-shirt, if you have an aluminium substance in these deodorants, they tend to leave that weird yellow patch mark. So I like this one because it's a cooling one. Next up, we have Lush. Now this is one of their new products that they sent me to try, which will be in a whole other video, but I wanted to show because it is one of my favorites and I've had it for a little bit and it is the Salty. I thought this was great because it is a very kind of, like end of summer smell, like you're at the beach and it's just that ocean wave coming and hit you such a good smell i really like it it's very fragrant too so it will last a long time for the day you won't have to reapply it too much i think i sprayed a bit too much in my face <coughs> if you want something fresh to just spray on yourself this is great and also that sea salty smell of the ocean oh, people are going to be flocking to you for a endless summer now it wouldn't be a favorites video without an underwear favorites and now I'm showcasing you guys the steel in this like kiwi lime, beautiful color, beautiful fabric, microfiber, in the hip brief style keeping you cool and calm and collected, any sports or anything like that, you are ventilated and kept cool for the summer. Don't okay, we're moving on to some hair care now and I've been trying this Alpecin coffee shampoo. Now this is all in German, so I can't really read everything out to you. But what this is supposed to be for, it's supposed to help the follicles of your hair because when you wash your hair, you don't really get to nourish them as much. Now this is really good if you have light hair, this should help the follicles to promote the growth. You will see more of an eff of effect probably after a few months. So I'm showing you this now because I'm gonna check back in on my next favorites. Hopefully we will see some results. I always kind of get a bit skeptical about the back of my head, um, but I think I'm just paranoid um, of getting older. But yeah, I think this should help. But if you feel like your hair is just a little bit more lighter or on the thinner side at the current time, then this is good at rejuvenating and bringing those follicles back to the surface and giving them some love too. So. Apparently this is really good. Okay, so now we're down to fragrance. Now I haven't used this in quite a while, but I've recently fallen back in love with it. And it is the Paco Rabanne 1 million, looks like a gold bar. Fragrance is like a cologne. I really like this, it's a really great fragrance. I still have quite a lot. I haven't used a lot. I don't know if you can see in the bottle. I have used quite a lot of it. So I've been trying to get, you know, make my use out of this 100 ml. It's really nice. It smells great too. It was also voted one of the top fragrances for like a huge, amount of time. I love this. This is actually a really great scent. So go check the 1 million by Paco Rabanne. It's great because there's not a lot of like clothes in this because I'm going to be doing a huge clothes video for a CK coming up and some others coming at you as well. I did manage to snag another pair of the, the Air Monarch 4s. I believe they're the fourth generation one. So these white ones, I know I've showed the case them in another video, but I actually managed to get these on sale. Oh my God, 50% off. Who wouldn't want to buy a bargain? So these were only $20 and I thought, you know what? To get these for $20 when they're like 60, 
why not? So one favorite that I can't actually show you is because it's on the other side of my room, all over there at my desk, is this beautiful IKEA lamp that looks like a lighthouse lamp, my mom calls it. Uh, I really love it. It was only like $14, $15. It's in a statement piece. I love it so much. And I'm gonna show you a clip of it right now. It just it just reminds me of like something from like the 1960s or 70s, that kind of decor. So I really liked it. It's got like a like, nice little brass base and it's got this beautiful like spherical, rectangular, rectangular spherical glass around it, adorning it. And it's got a beautiful bulb in the middle. So it is quite bright. I might actually need to get a smaller light bulb for it, but I love it so much. Knowledge for your brain. A little bit of reading is always good. I'm trying to get back into reading again. So I started off with Wreckage of My Presence, Essays by Casey Wilson. And let me tell you, I've been trying to savor this book because I really enjoyed it. Now, if you don't know who Casey Wilson is, she's a comedian, she used to be on SNL. She is in Happy Endings, one of my favorite TV programs. And she's in a few other projects at the moment. So go check her out. She is really funny. I find her hilarious. Her sense of humor is really indulgent. So her book, I expect it to be the same, but it also is very sad. So there is sad moments, but you'll also be like, crying through it but laughing at the same time because of how funny the stories are so i do recommend this if you want a light read to go on a train somewhere this is a great read now you know how i love to end a favorites video with some snacks of course we gotta have you know we gotta end it out right with something sweet to eat now besides the pumpkin spice lattes that i would have this time of year anyways they came out actually a month earlier so they were technically a summer favorite I actually have pumpkin spice latte here from earlier. So that is favorite. So you know how good a pumpkin spice latte is. I love you, pumpkin spice. <laughs> My last snack attack for you guys. We all love Sour Patch Kids. We all have a favorite flavor, right? Well, here in the UK, they have brought out the cola flavor. Cola flavor which weren't in our original bag here. They're just all cola flavored. So my favorite thing to do with these is to get a Pepsi, put a straw in it, put like five of these in your mouth and then drink the Pepsi through the straw. Oh my God, what an experience. You guys would love it. It's like an explosion of cola in your mouth. So guys, there you have it. That is my summer favorites of what I've been buying this summer. I do have a lot more clothes, like I said, that will be coming in a fun video soon. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you have an awesome day wherever you may be. Make sure to smash that like button to help grow the channel some more, make our community a bigger place to communicate and be a family with. And also when you subscribe, don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you're notified whenever I upload any new content, any giveaways or anything of the sort, you'll be the first to know. And also leave a comment down below on your favorites too. What are some things you've been loving this summer that you can't wait to have more of or something you're looking forward to in fall? Let me know down below because I want to know. And I'll talk to you next time. Like I said, have an awesome day wherever you may be. Until next time, bye-bye. So the video you're just watching has just ended, but don't worry. You can go watch one of my old videos right here or you can go and subscribe right here and be notified when my next video comes out so you don't have to miss any of the action. So thank you and goodbye.